All right, guys, today on The Real Fan Review, we're going over the Avengers Endgame trailer that just came out. Really, really crazy. We got four guys here ready to talk about everything we think, what we believe is going to happen, and uh, just our overall thoughts. Welcome to The Real Fan Review. Welcome podcasters, welcome to The Real Fan Review, you're here with Hav here from The Real Fan Review, and today I have with me three great friends of mine, we here, we love, we love talking about movies, we go to movies together, we enjoy all the big, big Marvel movies, those big blockbuster movies, so that's what we'll be talking about on these podcasts. Uh, so today for us, we're going to be talking about the Avenger Endgame trailer that just came out, <coughs> We really wanted to talk about Captain Marvel, but when this trailer came out, it just changed everything. Uh, so today, we have my boy Sanj. Hello, everyone. How you doing? We got Al. How's it going, everybody? And on the music, sound, and everything else, we got B. Hey, hey. Also known as B-Dog. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I know this is our first podcast, so we want to welcome everyone to the site or to the podcast, wherever you're getting it whether it's iTunes or from whatever podcasting site you guys get your podcast from. All I ask is that you guys like us, you guys subscribe, and, you know, any kind of feedback, we'd love to take it, and uh, we'll do what we can. Also, uh, if there's any topics you want us to t discuss, please let us know. Absolutely. We also, uh, you can email us at the Real Fan Review, and it's a play on words on the word real. It's R-E-E-L, so the Real Fan Review at gmail.com. And uh, just kind of like introduce ourselves, you know, my name is Hav again, and um, I guess one of the things to tell you guys who we kind of are and what we kind of like is uh, our top three movies. So I figured just to give you a quick take, my top three movies, I think there's uh, Seven. I love that movie. It was a good horror slash crime movie that was insane. The Dark Knight, of course, for me, I lost my damn mind in that movie. And uh, another movie that not too many people saw, but I, I just love, is called The Count of Monte Cristo, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, sounds like, what is there, what's like, I guess, your top three movies or three movies that you love, that you keep, you can keep watching all the time? Well, top, top three, I mean, number one is easy, that's The Godfather Part Two because that's, oh, wow. you know, that's two movies <laughs> in one, you know, you got Vito Corleone's um, uh, story and as well as, you know, the rise of Michael Corleone and his, his thing going on right there. Um... I, I go between The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. Really? Um, All right. Because, only because in The Dark Knight Rises, you know, uh, Christopher Nolan's version of this, of the Batman story, is is one of the few, I, I'm the only one that I've seen where Batman actually, where Bruce Wayne actually escapes being Batman. So that, that scene at the end with Alfred and him, and, you know, you see him with Selena Kyle, just works out exactly how Alfred wanted it to work out. Right. That that put for me that puts that movie in a le in the league with the Dark Knight. That's just for me. But okay. the Dark Knight, I mean, just from the inception, it was crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just it just jumped off from from the beginning. And then, um, you know, the third my my third would be. I mean, Count of Monte Cristo is up there. Uh huh. Count of Monte Cristo. See, not a lot there. of people see that movie. But um, yeah. but I I would say um, uh, Scarface. Oh wow. There's just there's just so much. I mean. The quotables. The quotables from Scarface, <laughs> and then it's just the epic music the whole time and everything. I just, yeah, that's my I top you. three. I got you. Al, what about you, man? What is it like three uh, movies, the top three for you that you love watching, you can keep watching? Top three are uh, Matrix. Wow, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, right. that's right. Back in the days. Uh, Batman Begins. Uh, Matrix only because it changed the way a lot of movies back then were being done graphically. Uh -huh. Bullet time and everything. You also. know what's funny? That's one of the, like... The first <coughs> movies I remember seeing with you, mm -hmm. yep. back in what, 1996? Oh, uh, yeah. well, forget it. Yeah, whenever it came out. Whenever it came out. Uh, but yeah, just because the way it just changed everything. I mean, nowadays it's nothing graphically compared to what they're doing now. Right. At the time, it basically changed the game. Uh, Batman Begins because everybody was making, they were making comic book movies, but they didn't make it as dark as that one. Right. And it kind of brought the realism to the comic books instead of comic book movies, instead of making it colorful it almost felt like that can actually happen yeah, that, yeah, way, like that way it was like the realest batman ever yeah exactly, <laughs> batman yeah. was a ninja exactly. yes <laughs> that's what explains everything and then God, and then godfather 
Wow, okay, yeah. Godfather. But yeah. part one or there's one. this? Okay. One, one, yeah. one, yeah, one was incredible. You know, just yeah. to give you guys a little something, I never seen the Godfather movies until uh, maybe about four months ago. Everyone kept saying, you never seen the Godfather? Finally, yeah. I just rented it. And wow. So yeah. for one and two, love three, I could do it out. But one and two were incredible. Yeah. Uh, B, what about you, man? What is it, what is it like your top three movies? Uh, really, for me, like, movies that really get the, the music score with right. the story. I don't know. I, I've always been like a, a sucker for a good music score in a video game or a movie or a television show. So for me, one of my one of my tops is Jurassic Park. Just wow. for John mm -hmm. Williams and his yeah. score. You know, yeah, the, the yeah. story and the score go so perfect. And yeah. Everyone knows the theme, you know. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows the theme. You <laughs> can't not know the theme. The music can change the, like, the dramatical effect. Oh, it, it, it's everything, yeah. you know. And uh, another one of mine is Interstellar. Mm. Just wow. for mm. just for the fact, like not only was it a great story, yeah. but the music made you feel everything for that movie. Right. You had the suspense where there was uh, I forget the name of the theme itself, but it was uh, one of the crucial scenes where kind of everything's going wrong. One of the seven times in the movie, everything's going wrong. <laughs> yeah, but everything's <laughs> going wrong. He's got this downward spiral. He's he's in space. He, you know oh, he's I gonna know die. Yeah, I know what you're and about, the yeah. music is just this crazy intense. It's so intense that yeah. it makes you yeah. feel like oh. What's going to happen? Yeah. You know, that's yeah, yeah. the one craziest. And then um, my th on my third, I, I hate to be this person, uh -oh. but uh, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. You know? Oh, no, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good movie. I, I love that movie. That was like, like a video not game. Even, yeah, yeah. Like, not even for the music part of it. Like, it has a lot of music influence, but the story was just so funny to me and like so cool. I, I absolutely like, adore that movie. I used to have this giant poster in my room. For that movie, it was so awesome. <laughs> oh man, that's great, man. Oh wow. So I mean, now you know everyone who's listening, you got a little taste of what our top movies are like, so you can get kind of the idea of what we are, what we're into. And if you're listening with the types of movies we're going to be talking about, again, it's mostly like the blockbuster movies, the big comic book movies, the action movies. We usually, all four of us, we get together, we go. It's actually a, bit, a larger group of us. Uh, and we all go to the movies together either the first night it comes out or maybe that weekend that it comes out. And uh, back in the day, we used to go to the midnight showings yep. of the Thursday yep. movies. And back when I was like 10. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. to interrupt, sorry yeah. to interrupt no. you, but I, the fact that you bring that up, I have to I have to go back to what really jumped it off for us all those years ago for going to the movies was... Um, Transformers. Transformers was big, when Transformers yeah. came back because you know you me and Al grew up, you know in in the eighties and yeah. everything and with and so we hadn't seen Optimus Prime in twenty years right. at that point you know and then remember when Optimus Prime showed up and transformed for the first time we were in a packed theater opening night. Optimus Prime got a standing ovation <laughs> from the entire crowd. Man, it was man, crazy. Man. There's nothing like going to those first night, the yeah. first movie. The, that crowd is so into it. Where yeah. it, it pulls you in. Yeah. Everyone's on the same shared page. Experience. It is, it is, man. And there's only like a few movies that you get that experience with. Just so you guys understand how intense we are, we've driven an hour and a half. You know, we're, we're in Long Island, so we've driven an hour and a half into Connecticut just to watch the trailer. For a movie, it was Batman vs Superman. Yeah, it was Batman vs Superman. Batman versus Superman. That's <laughs> weird. We, 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 for real. Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> we went. Yeah, that was a far drive just to see a fifteen minute. Yeah, we, we had some nice steak that night too. That was that was a good oh, night. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And, oh, and they played the trailer twice mm -hmm. before it released to everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it did. I saw once. You're like, oh, that was great. They're like, we're gonna do it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and we got the free tickets to when the movie came out. Right. It was a week before the movie came out yep. too. So that was pretty awesome. Yep. Totally worth it. Yeah. Absolutely. And we had to go back to that theater to watch the. <laughs> Drive another two hours to get there to see it. Oh man! But uh, like you said, you know, we said in the beginning this uh, this episode is going to be about the Avengers Endgame trailer that we just came out, and uh, you know, we're just going to talk about it, see what we think. Um, I'll start it off. You know, I have to say when that trailer dropped, I didn't expect it. You know, everyone was saying that the trailer was going to come out, you know, when Captain Marvel came out because it made sense, you know, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll play the trailer before the movie starts. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing was they're going to put that next trailer out when the uh, when they're going to sell the tickets for the show for the movie. That didn't happen, but they just dropped it on us last Thursday. And uh, I found out through Brandon. Brandon texted me <laughs> at like, what, it was eight, like 8 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> All he texted was Endgame Trailer. Wow. <laughs> so immediately, 
took a break from my job and just <laughs> went to watch that trailer in the bathroom by myself. Needless to say, I was in my job still working, <laughs> watching the trailer. I had to stop class for a second. <laughs> and, you know, what I have to say about that trailer is just talk about telling me so much without telling me anything. Yeah. And I just got to say, I absolutely love what they're doing with these trailers because I'm one of those people that I don't want to really know a lot. I don't want to know the whole movie. I don't want to know the big scene that's coming, especially when I'm watching movies. I overthink it. I try yeah. to figure out the movie while I'm watching it the first time. <laughs> so if I don't see a thing that I saw in the trailer, I'm like, okay, that's going to be coming soon. All right, it's coming. <laughs> like, don't you miss that with movies? Yeah, Did yeah. it show you everything in the Jesus. trailer? You didn't see the last boss fight yeah. before yeah. the war was over? <laughs> no, even like, you know, the, the uh, Infinity War, they showed us, you know, Thanos with the glove. Granted, they took away some of the stones, but you knew he was going to have the glove and the two stones. I didn't even want to know that. Well, to, be, f to be fair, yeah. right? This is, this, 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 there's source material for this that's, yeah. you know, 20, 30 years old. Yeah, we knew he was going to get it. We knew he was going to get it. And then he didn't have it. You uh, know, <laughs> Like, so damn, that's, he lost. I mean, to be to be fair, that's they're behind the eight ball with that a little bit. So yeah. everyone knows the overall just the story, gonna lose yeah. going into right? The movie. So you know, obviously they're making changes to it that you know to to mo to modernize the the story and everything. So I mean, I, you know, that doesn't bother me I as much you. because it, for movies where you don't know the story, well, yeah, that's that's no good. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, either way, that, that trailer completely blew me away. It gave me the feels from the beginning, reminiscent about Iron Man 1, Captain America First Avenger, and then we had Thor 1, and then we get that gray with the white, black, and then the highlight of the red. Oh. Can I ask a question of real course. quick? So I was watching Thor 1, because they, they had a bunch of movies on today, so I just yeah. I ended up sitting on the couch um, just watching a, a bunch of movies, and th Thor 1, so the Tesseract. How many movies is the Tesseract in? Because it's in a it <laughs> it's was just in, in Captain all. Marvel, right? Yeah. So 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 Shield had the Tesseract, and then isn't the Tesseract in um, Avengers? Is, it's in Avengers, but then they have it in um, Asgard as well. That yeah. they brought it to Asgard, they it to Asgard after, after Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, after okay, the first Avengers. I'm, I'm just like, does the Tesseract, the, is Thor the Tesseract it like... Odin's. And it wasn't in me and Thor Ragnarok didn't hella just pass by the Tesseract. Yeah. Like, that's nice. That's yeah. powerful. Yeah. <laughs> is it like, like knocked is, over the gauntlet, the fake gauntlet, so, but knocked yeah. over the gauntlet too. Is it too. the Tesseract like the cheap date of the Infinity <laughs> Stone? It's like, it just gets passed around? Oh, it was like, oh, that God. one's cool. That's great. It's nice to see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice and blue. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, the, the thing that got me the most in this trailer, if anything, is just Captain America's face. When he's just, it looks like either he's in the fight for his life, which I don't want to talk about, but we will. Um, but it's just that seriousness and him strapping up that shield. Oh, well, man. This is the first time you've seen Captain America really look like he's not he's, certain they're going to win. Yeah. yeah. You know, any, other, any other time, like, he's, he, Captain America just always has this you know, this air about him that, like, we're going to win. It's yeah. going, like, we're going to make this work. We're I mean, going to make uh, Captain America. Uh, the, uh, the Winter Soldier, the elevator scene alone, he walked in, he knew he's what was like, going to happen. Yeah, he's like, y'all really trying to do this? Like, <laughs> Does anybody want to get out? <laughs> anyone want to get out? You know? <laughs> and that's the Captain America that, that we're used to. And then I'm looking at a Captain America, he's like, he does not look certain, but he's like, this is the only chance we have. This is the only, this, this is the last resort. Yeah. So let's... Let's see what happens. Let's put it out yeah. there. He, you know, and you could tell that like it's it's really wearing on them the amount of um, death from from the first Avengers that th that they're really you know de dealing with. Yeah. And the trailer doesn't really allude to how much time has really passed between each of those scenes. Because it seems like it, it it seems like a year or two, like even yeah, like it seems more. like, it, seems like more. it starts yeah. at months and then it goes to years. Yeah. You know? it seems like it's it's escalating in time. We'll, we'll yeah. get to those those yeah. like what we think is going to happen. And everything out. You saw the trailer Thursday yeah. too. And I mean, I know I send it to all of every every friend I knew. Yes, like you gotta see this shit. <laughs> that's only like four people. But that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. What was your thoughts, Al, when you saw the trailer? Um, just crazy. Um, how are they gonna tie all the movies? Because I think that's what they're looking to do with this: tie everything together. That's why you're seeing in the preview they're re alluding to all of the sh other movies that started everybody's storyline. Yeah. Thor's storyline starting Cap's uh, storyline. You know, Iron Man. Um. So they're going to bring it full circle, see how they do that. The, the rumors of time travel, is that what they're going to do? Right. You know, somehow go back in time and change a little bit of each of their stories so that it doesn't ultimately lead up to this. Um, how are they going to go back through time? I'm sure we'll probably touch on that. 
but um, just crazy. It I mean, is, yeah. And the fact that that it raised more questions than, like, like you were saying before, it didn't really tell you much. Mm -hmm. It just made you ask more. Of so, course. How did that happen? Like, how much time has passed? I mean, Scarlet. I mean, Scarlet Witch. Um, Black uh, Widow. Black Widow. Yeah. She had her hair was just past her ear in the first one, and now she's got a ponytail that she has to hold up. Dude, her so hair has time? been different every five yeah. seconds. Every goddamn trailer. In the trailer and she's <laughs> on, yeah, just wait and see how she they keeps you fresh. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Oh man, Brandon. And like you said, like I said, you know, you're the one who told me about the trailer. I'm sure you yeah. watched it like a thousand times. A thousand and one. A thousand and one. Awesome. And so, like, what's your take on the trailer? What'd you think? I mean, you know, it was it's so funny because uh, I'm the youngest in this group, and so like I was, I'm pretty sure Thanks I for was reminding us. You know, like <laughs> maybe 15 or 16 when when uh, Iron Man came out. The first one and so like seeing the scenes started off you know going through iron man's montage and captain america's montage and thor's you're just like oh man like you know even even though the infinity war you know did that to kind of to kind of start it like y'all you know we're going 10 years but like this one's really cementing like yo like this is this has been like my life for a long yeah. <laughs> like a long time <laughs> and this is telling me that this is gonna end and i'm just like Dang, and I, I just kept watching because I was like, oh, what are we going to do? Like, what what is this movie? The MCU has been in my life longer than my wife has. <laughs> <laughs> All right? It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so I, I ain't going to make no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the topic I'm going to stay with. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of the trailer? I, I, it had a very somber um, tone to it, and I... I it just it really feels like they they don't know how this is gonna work. You know they yeah. don't know if it's gonna work. So even though we you know we know, and we don't even know what story, it is. Right, we don't know what <laughs> it is what exactly. It is. Like, yeah, what what is what is what are they going to do? Like I see them in in space suits, like yeah. you know setting up and like the, it's really like I'm the question in my mind is like how does Tony get back? How does you know how how does this all tie together? How right. does, because we know Tony's not gonna die, or does he? <laughs> you know, right? But then, and then, like the whole thing with him and Pepper, and like they might be having a kid or something like that. So right. it's like it, this. W one thing that really strikes me is like the de the depth of the story, how they've taken comic book stories, which uh, some comic book you know stories have had you know good depth to them. I find not so much like looking back, not not so much the Marvel comics. I mean, DC has always had a little bit more depth to their story, but what what I see what they done with these marvel movies they've created such depth to the story that makes it so you know relatable to, to you know to your daily life or yeah. or you know how you feel about things but right. it's just like you just don't know like how is this all gonna get together how, how are they gonna fix this how right how are we gonna yeah. how are we gonna fix this you know what part of this trailer is fake yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are still on that, huh? I, I am <laughs> certain, but I mean, there's always so, there's always some part of it that's fake. Like, I mean, for look, the last the last movie, the whole the whole um, scene where Cap, you know, Captain America is leading the charge with um, the Wakandan army at his back. That, that Hulk, wasn't, yeah, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't in the, in the movie, and I thought or, that was or that Hulk, been, yeah, Hulk in general, yeah, Hulk running through. His you know what they're saying though? Some the people were saying that that scene that that was in the last trailer might be in, in this, this movie. movie because they'll do some time travel and like change. Oh, Okay. Maybe. Right. I mean, that's one of the things going on. I just out there. when I saw when I saw Tony and Nebula wearing the suits towards the end of that trailer, yeah. I was like, "That's not them." I was like, "They're not there. <laughs> They're not there. They'll they'll join them, but not there." Yeah. I was like, "Uh." Oh. You they, know, they, the, they threw it in there too coy. Too the only <laughs> thing that I think has been fake in the trailer so far has been when they're walking. There's like a scene where they're walking in like an air hangar mm -hmm. or something, and every time, like the first trailer, there was like two people missing. Now the next trailer, there was like two people added in, and another person missing between I think War Machine and one of the characters. Wait, was it Nebula there? Like, and then now you see this this trailer here. You see all the people walking, but they're now in suits. Yeah. So it's like, what in the hell is going? Right, on? Black Widow's dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> she dies. That's it. <laughs> oh man. So I mean, I guess that leads us into like what we think, like the rumors and our own theories of what's going on. Like I know a couple rumors I keep hearing is they're going to be traveling back in time. You know, they're going to be going back in time somehow to either to get the um, the gems or the Infinity Stones before Thanos gets them, or they're trying to create their own gauntlet, which I don't know how that would work. If they're taking stones, I think the stones are in one place at one time. So if they take it, I don't know how they could do that. So that's weird. Then there's the time travel. There's there's a, this theory going on that Thanos is not the main villain of the story. I'm kind of on that too. 
I don't know. You have to have Thanos be the main villain of this story. It's a three-hour movie. He could be a villain for a good chunk of it. Wow. Well, the, you, it, go ahead. Alan. No, I was just gonna say. Yeah, the one I like, the theory I like is that to that point, he starts off the bad guy. You know, it's all about revenge and getting everybody back. But one of the rumors I heard was that the snap draws out the next main villain. Oh. You mean King the Conqueror? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which would make sense. I mean, think yeah. about it. You, nobody's ever done anything through that affected in the entire universe. Right. It <laughs> took out half of everybody. So to have that be somebody that brings up somebody even more powerful is just based on some of the villains that they're naming. Like, how the hell are they going to fight that person? Right. You know? So it's like... See, but when I think about that, like to me, it's like, who can they bring that's going to be bigger than Thanos? And I'm like, there's no way they're putting Galactus in this movie. I mean, you have a lot <laughs> of bad guys who are bigger and than Thanos. I mean, his storyline in the comics was just literally this, was Infinity. all about the Infinity Gauntlet, yeah. you know, and getting the stones. Um, so, I mean, like, there, there's bigger bad guys. You know, mm-hmm. they have Kang the Conqueror, you know. They have all these other people. Even uh, Doctor Doom was at some points bigger than Thanos. So, I mean, they have the the ability to do that. My holy question is, if you're making Thanos this big bad that they lost to, then how do they beat the next big bad? Right. Who's supposed to be worse? I think it's also interesting to call Thanos a villain. Really? Right? Mm. Because in, he tells you why he's doing this. He's True. like, look, I grew up on a planet where they didn't listen to me. Right? We had too many people. And instead of listening to me and understanding that we have an issue that we need to handle, we let it get out of control. And then now my planet is decimated and it's doomed. And like, you know, you, you know, you, you see yeah. Titan, you know, yeah. you see what it looks like. And he really like he goes about this saying, I don't want this to happen anywhere else in the universe right. or anywhere else in the galaxy or whatever we're yeah. dealing with. Right. So he says, I'm on this quest. And the only thing I'm doing with this glove, with this gauntlet, right, is that. We need to understand that it's unsustainable. I'm going to eliminate half the people in the universe, right? You can't say that that calmly, dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just going to eliminate half the people in the world. Really in, from, his, from his point of view, people were going to suffer and die. Right. Anyway. Starving. Right. Famine, losing their he, resources. He, yeah. he gave them a painless death. And right? it was random. <laughs> and it wasn't random. He didn't, was he like didn't choose. Kid, he did, yeah. There was no. There was no. Can young... you imagine if he snapped and he he disintegrated? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> and then and then he 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 kept to his word. What did he do? He said, I, "After I do it, I'm just gonna go sit and relax because I've been working really hard for a long time to do this." So <laughs> like, that was his whole purpose. And it's not that like his purpose. so. It's not power. He, he's not driven by power. No. You know, no. It's, there's not man, in that sense. There's there's not a malevolent um, a drive. Right. to it he's not doing this for power he's doing this to in his mind he's like this is what i have to do to to so that people can survive so that the universe can survive mm. you know so I, I i i like to look at it like that yeah i mean and i see that i yeah, mean it sucks definitely. if you're the guy that catches it when he put <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute wasn't there uh, like uh, an uh, app that, that decided yeah, yeah. And yeah. And me and you out of me and you you dusted and i did it <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's, yeah it sucks if you've got to you've got to make the You've got to make the the sacrifice, and you're the one that gets you know randomly chosen. But, you know, <laughs> hey. what about what about the theory that the people who got dusted, they're not dead, but they're in an alternate universe. I think there's credence uh, to it because I mean it's not the first time Marvel's done it. No, really. But I wouldn't say alternate. The, what I'm thinking they're going with is the Soul Stone. They're in the Soul Stone because you have like um, right after he did the snap, you see Thanos in, surrounded by the yellow light, yeah. and he's talking to a young Gamora. So I'm thinking you're in there, all the souls are getting sucked into there, right. and you're seeing them the way you want, want to see, see them. them. Right. But then also, in, if you go back to um, Doctor Strange, right? Remember when he was going, <clears throat> when he needed to go at Dormammu, right? Mm-hmm. Remember, he just kept, he took a little bit of, a, of time into a timeless dimension, yeah. right? And he just kept coming back. And until Dormammu did what he wanted to do, this was going to continue yeah. forever. So the time stone... Is a is a is a possibility here too because right. the time stone shows that it has the ability to catch catch there's, catch there's, something in a in a never ending loop. There's definitely something about so, that. So yeah. and then remember, Doctor Strange, he, he he sat there and he went through you know as many possibilities as he could, and he said, "I only see one where we win." Yeah. Not only that, but remember in the spaceship, he told Tony, 
if it comes to me, you, or Spider-Man, I'm not doing anything for the stone. I'm keeping the stones with me. Yeah. And all of a sudden, within what, half hour later? <laughs> <laughs> half hour later, like, uh, a couple hours. It was the, the only time, way. But, uh... No, and, and think of it. He gives he gives up the stone. You know, he gives up the stone willingly. Like you know, sometimes the the best way to to you know go at your opponent is to give them what they think they want. Right, whereas you you can't give a hint, bro. Yeah. Huh? You can't give you can't give Iron Man a hint of what to do. <laughs> what if that changes? When you're trying when you're trying to when you're trying to do a subterfuge, the less people that know, the better. Right. And Tony's a blabbermouth, you know that. Yeah. Tony's <laughs> a blabbermouth. Tony? He loves to talk out the whole plan <laughs> before it even happens. I mean, what if that changed the possibility because he had said something? Man, what exactly. part of the possibility? You're you're yeah. you're, inter, you're 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 interjecting another <laughs> another variable, yeah. right? So, and at this at this point, we need a, we need a few less. Hey, you with, only got one, so yeah. I ain't gonna mess this up. The only part with that though that that some people have pointed out though is um, Doctor Strange. He can't see the future past his death because it wasn't in his movie. The right. ancient one when she did it, she couldn't see the past future a certain past point. her death. Yeah. So. If he dies there on t- on the on the moon, how does he see the end game that they win? Maybe mm-hmm. then he doesn't die on the moon. Oh, so you think th- th- that's all a projection? Maybe. Oh. Or maybe, in the other possibilities, he didn't die. Maybe. He I don't know. Maybe he, 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 maybe he, he got illusion? the stone somehow and then he, just got out of well, it. Well, he is the master of illusion, so maybe right. he right. made it look like. He made. But it he was like the first that. one to dust there. Yeah. Or the whole point of like him. Not seeing past his death is like, yeah, I get dusted, but I'm not really dead because I'm in the Soul Stone or I'm in the Time Stone, and I'll come yeah. back, mm. right? So I'm not, I'm not really dead. True. True. So he could have seen himself. It's so, there's just so many, there's so many, so you know, many, yeah. things that they could do. <laughs> and the trailer gave you nothing. 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 Yeah. nothing. All you see is a sad cat. <laughs> sad cat. <laughs> it just feels like it's gonna be a really sad hour and a half for a while. Until well, the... they're saying everything in the trailer allegedly, which I don't believe whatsoever, is the only from the first eight minutes of the movie, which no, I think is absolute right. nonsense. Yeah. All that stuff. I got hair change. I could see. I could see that. I could see that stuff being in the first eight. Minutes. I'm, I'm not really? saying. I'm well, not saying I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I could see. I could see how that could be. Well, what do you think is actually happening in this movie? They called in Captain Marvel, right? So she shows up, obviously, and she's like, "Where's Fury?" You know, yeah, like yeah. you know, they're, they're, you know. And so they're gonna come up with a plan mm-hmm. that that she has some power that she thinks can they can she can travel very far distances very quickly, right? right? Obviously, so they're gonna go after Thanos. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's gonna happen. They that group there is like the only chance we have is to go get this gauntlet. So really? we and and now that we have Captain Marvel, they didn't know about her yeah. before, and now they have a a, a a you know a bigger, badder weapon than they had. But right. seeing before. her come so what what seems like she's coming. I mean, you know, when they did that for Ant Man in the Civil War scene, you know, was the middle of the movie. It seems like she's showing up kind of early in the like, yeah, in the movie. Like the first so week. then, like you know, considering her power, quantum realm. Or space flight because she flies really fast. She can do all the space stuff. We don't know her to do any quantum realm stuff yet. Right. Yet. So like, are they taking to the quantum realm to do this time travel stuff? That's been or are they the going straight into space? Yeah. Well, that's what I think the suits are for. You think the suits are for us? I think the suits are for quantum. Yeah, because they show a scene from the first Ant Man, and you see like an early version of that suit. Hanging on Tim's wall. Yeah. And so, Tony's doing like a pit my ride to yeah, the suit. Yeah, you know, okay. you them up, yeah. But, um, <laughs> putting the logo on there. <laughs> but another thing I want to see where they're going with this is if you notice, more and more of the superheroes are getting their powers from the stones. Uh, yeah. You know, she didn't... Oh, wait. So, wait. Sh- her, hers was the Tesseract, Tesseract also? Right. She got it from so, the Tesseract. Scarlet Witch got it from the... So, maybe, the maybe, it's, the, maybe it's the Tesseract that's the answer to all this. <laughs> there you go. You it's know, like, like... The side bitch of the what MCU. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, yeah. Where are we going? I'm sorry. I lost. No, uh, no. We're just we're, talking about our thoughts and theories on these things. So, I mean, but, I mean, it, the, the Tesseract is no longer Tesseract. Tesseract is no longer Tesseract. The Tesseract is now the Space Stone. Right. So, I mean, the whole point of the Space Stone is it's seems now is the is the whole either movement a way to travel a way to travel yeah or can um, it bend space and that too i think and then we'll, sorry to keep it yeah, but like when you have the space stone and the time stone can you bend space and time mm-hmm. use them together to bend space and time right mm-hmm. motion there, through space right? is one thing right <laughs> but bending you know the space time continuum because you know if you really think about it it's supposed to be one and the same yeah right at a quantum level 
that's a, Ooh, that's haunts a, them again. But that's 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 a, that's a, that's a whole other podcast. But um, yeah, so maybe that maybe that's what they do. They bend space and time and and, and do it that way. Mm. Maybe time is not linear in there after mm. all. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see if past this movie, what the effects of these Infinity Stones cause. I mean, like just like Alex said, you know, we the Tesseract created Captain Marvel. You know, and then the Mind Stone created Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. You know, is this our segue? It also gave Vision. I, I power. think it, gave, it made Vision technically. It literally yeah. made Vision. It brought, yeah, it gave him that life force. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, listen. For Ant Man and the Wasp, when uh, the old Wasp was in the quantum realm, mm-hmm. she said it changes you. Mm-hmm. So I just have a feeling that that that's kind of their entry into mutants. Because mm-hmm. she came out with some powers where she was just touching someone and healing them with her fingers. The Scarlet yeah. Witch came out with powers from the from the stones. Yeah, so I mean, I think they can go either way, but I think that's the way they're going to be bringing mutants into the. I feel like there's going to be like MCU, some kind yeah. of like at the end of this movie a destruction of the stones. Oh yeah, they and then go. something's going to happen as an effect of it, kind of like what they did in Agents of Shield. How like if anyone saw that towards the uh, last the previous season when they had the New Mutants mm-hmm. saga happen. Um, not mutant, new mutants. I'm sorry. Um, what are those guys called? Uh, I completely forgot their name. The one with the sound. The oh, the, the humans. Inhumans. Thank you. Gotcha, when gotcha. they had the whole inhuman saga, they did a, a whole thing where the fish in the sea got um, omega three. <laughs> yeah, they got poisoned <laughs> with uh, uh, the the effects that make the inhumans. So like you know that created inhumans out of people. This and that. Yeah. So I feel like maybe the Infinity Stones being destroyed can cause some kind of same effect in the galaxy which leads to yeah. more super powered people silver surfer you know maybe yeah. the fantastic four maybe through an effect of all the stones i don't know mm-hmm. yeah i mean it listen it can go so many different ways I'm one just, of the things go i'm ahead. just scared with the time travel theory uh-huh. because then it becomes well why didn't they use that before Mm-hmm. Maybe they didn't know how. Doctor Strange. No, Doctor Strange. At this point, he's already been Doctor Strange for a while. Yeah. And he won his movie by just repeating time, over and over and over until the guy quit. Uh huh. But Why there was, are they um, doing there's that? always a limit. Remember, you know, the whole time continuum thing. He did state in the movie that there is a uh, an effect of time. You know, you're trying to keep it within the same standard within the loop. So with him doing that loop didn't change anything. He just kept the same thing happening until. Your mom who decided to, I'm, I'm done with this. And just because just because you have a power, doesn't this or a tool, doesn't necessarily you need you know how to use it right all that well. Well, I hope right? so. The, in I the commentary, so. they're saying he's just learning how to use that gauntlet. Right. You know. Because remember, it, it, you have the power. It's like it, there's the power. You, you have to think what you want. Like, skip over to the DC universe for a second. Like Green yeah. Lantern, right? Mm-hmm. When you get the power, like that ring, like you, you can think up anything. And mm-hmm. use the the, 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 the the ring to think up anything, right? Mm-hmm. And when Hal first gets that stone, he's like thinking like guns and this and that and the other. And like he meets up with the other Green Lantern and they tell him like, hey, your thinking is so limited. Right. Right? He can make anything. Mm-hmm. Right? He's but making make primitive control. guns to them. Yeah. Exactly. Like, And so he has this power that can do anything, mm-hmm. but he doesn't know how to use it yet. Mm-hmm. So that could be, yeah. you know. Damage right there, yeah. I mean, listen, I, I, one of the things that... that I see that's confusing me with the trailers is again seeing Scarlet not Scarlet which uh, the Black Widow her hair is different in every damn scene <laughs> she has the short little cute haircut then it's the long haircut then it's red with a highlight of yellow then it's a yellow with a ponytail <laughs> maybe that's the fake part of the trailer you get the CGI hair man the whole trailer <laughs> I mean the CGI <laughs> Thor's eye mmm no, he got the eye of the last one. No, no they, in the, the trailer Thor Ragnarok. for Thor Ragnarok, they CGI'd the eye in the later scene of the movie when he had already lost it. Oh, okay. So, I mean, if they could do that with an eye, they can do that with hair. I guess, man. It's a waste maybe they're, of maybe they're trying not to tell us how much time has passed. You think no time passes in this movie? <laughs> I mean, I, maybe it could have only been a couple months. And Tony's right. just like really distressed over it, just trying to find a way yeah. to make it happen. Or maybe it's years. So maybe, maybe it can't be that long because Tony's still alive. You guys think any new, um, new, new? Um, I guess heroes are going to be coming into this movie, or is this going to be just the old? I cast think it's going to be it? the newest one is Captain Marvel, and that's it. Yeah. Unless they start introducing concepts for Phase Four, but I mean, as, as you might know, Marvel literally at this point has no production 
past uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. So it's Which just, I think is just absolutely ridiculous. I think they're lying to us. I think there's like two movies being worked on right now. I don't know. I mean, it, 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 it truly <laughs> makes sense. Like, they've been doing this saga for like 10 plus years now. Yeah. At, at some point, someone needs a break. <laughs> well, <laughs> someone just, needs a year to relax, you they know. They just brought James Gunn back for Guardians 3. Guardians oh, yeah, 3, that's which awesome. still doesn't have a date, you know. So yeah. he's back on. They have the script. There's just no production date to start or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, you know... Maybe they'll give us some kind of tea. Obviously, they're going to give us some kind of tease as to what to maybe expect uh-huh. towards Phase 4. Maybe a hint or a name drop for something. I hear you. you know? What do you guys think, like, uh, end credits for this movie, Endgame? What do you guys think? you think they're going to show new a new villain. bad, new villain? New villain. And who do you think the new villain is going to be? Kang. Kang the Conqueror. Kang Soul. the Conqueror. I don't Soul. even know who that is. Because once you do <laughs> Ultron, you know, you, you've done Ultron, you, you've done Thanos... You've done everyone's big bad uh-huh. to a certain point. You know, you can only go up to who the Avengers have fought. You know, with Captain Marvel, Secret Invasion doesn't seem like it's not happening, but maybe not yet. Yeah. So then it's just like, who are the other big bads other than Galactus, Doctor Doom, who we don't know they can do yet. So it's like, who can we As bring in? This Wednesday, the 20th, they will be. So, yeah. but I, the, the problem with Kang the Conqueror is that Kang the Conqueror is also a Richard's. He's a descendant of Reed Richards. Oh, wow. Which happens in the comics. So like, if we don't have Reed Richards, we don't have Kang. So then who is our bad guy? All right. Mm. Al, what you think? What do you think is going to happen at the end credits? You think any big bad or just like... Maybe a name drop. What I would like to see, I would like to see it be like a... Um, I mean, it's a far-fetched uh, reach, but like a Magneto. Oh. Because since we know that they're looking and desperate to bring the mutants in... Yeah. What way to bring in the mutants by introducing who their main villain would be? Right, and that's the way to bring them into that's the mix. That's awesome, man. I've heard anyone say that before. Yeah. So, and then that yeah. would lead up to the next group, mass. You know, like Avengers. Yeah. Would be truly the Avengers teaming up with Wolverine. Now or, bringing him or before the team. team up, Avengers versus X Men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Wow. So bringing that world in to yeah. and. Doing, using, introducing Magneto. Yeah. See, that, and, that's the hardest part is, like, how do you just introduce that world? Where have they been? You know, it, it, it's weird to say because it's just the movie. You can you can have the X-Men movie and have them part of the universe. But then you're like, but in this last this, 10, something years, yeah, where's Charles and Xavier been? Yeah. No, but, you know? to, well, it depends Like, we could have used your help. <laughs> well, so many times. <laughs> we know they're bringing in the quantum realm. Yeah. And what's the name indicated that the quantum realm affects you? You yeah. know. So if they use the quantum realm and say there's some explosion, who, who knows, mm-hmm. where there's um, bringing the quantum realm out into the real world, and that's how he gets his power. And the way of introducing him mm-hmm. is the end scene being him lifting up something metal. So like a more current, like him realizing new generation his power. Who, Magneto? Yeah. And that's the mo- end credits. That, that would be such a departure from Magneto's um, true origins. Well, they've story. changed everybody. No, but I mean, like, Ma- Magneto always had, you know, his power. You know, mm-hmm. he was a mutant. So it was so he was born that way. He didn't get it from some, you know, from, from some outside influence other yeah. than, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a mutant. So I wouldn't want to see them do that to Magneto. Yeah, I wouldn't want but, to see them do that. But they would have to do that to everybody. Right, that's the thing, though. They, they would have to start fresh for everyone. So I guess a kind of way to sell the mutants into the yeah. MCU would be to all of a sudden give people their powers. I think what could happen things. is either a merge of a universe, mm-hmm. a universe where they exist already, and something happens in the movie where the universe is combined, because that happens in Marvel so many times as it is. Yeah. So that's a way of introducing the Fantastic Four and the X-Men and all these other properties. Right. Or... You could have, like, something had happened, and, you know, the reason why Fantastic Four weren't here is because, yeah, they, they were a group of heroes, not, you know, not known, but something happened where when they got their powers, they were taken to another place, and now, all of a sudden, they came back. You know, they're back. Right. And now, like, now we have a Reed Richards, and now her, their movie, if they have one, it's explaining where they've been, That's what happened. Stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, the hardest sell is trying to figure out yeah. what happens now that we have this. Yeah. How do you? How do you? This legacy now. These a whole mutants. group of people. Yeah. That all of a sudden have these powers, and it was from birth. And listen, it's not guaranteed that the mutants are going to be coming into the MCU. Yeah. You know, they, I mean, they may Scarlet keep Witch them on separate things too. But I mean, listen, yeah. the hope is to see you know Incredible Hulk and Wolverine yeah. fight. And, <laughs> <she's> <laughs> and did they make reference to their father? 
I thought they did make some kind of reference, but I don't know if that because was in well, one of the X-Men movies. Because Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are... Brother and sister. To Brother Magne- and sister and, so, and the kids of Magneto. Right, so maybe so they... But, that was their best in, chance in the to MC, try to in the MCU, it seems like they're not. Yeah, yeah. right. Cause they because came... they weren't sure at that time that they were going to get the rights. Now they have the rights. So they can just run with that whole... Because now you have two versions of Quicksilver running around. Mm-hmm. Well... Well, <laughs> I think they're gonna end, they're gonna end that. Yeah, they're ending franchise. that one. Yeah, that yeah. franchise. Is I mean, over. they can't even get um, no, Dark they're... Phoenix to pass a screening. To, uh, yeah, that's okay. the rumors right now yeah. on that one. That's why they keep pushing the date. We definitely gonna get a, a Fox uh, Cinematic Universe conversation going with <laughs> that. Sans, what's your what's your expectations, or what do you want to see in the uh, end credits for this I, end game? I, I, well, what's next? You know, like I, like you said, I, I just want to see what's next. You know, the, you, you beat Thanos, you fix everything, right? And what's the next it's going to be the next threat right it's right. always they have to have something to fight against so i i, I really have no no <laughs> idea no expectation of of what's uh any wishes any wishes like oh my i wish i'd see this no nah. no nah? no i, I kind of like to just you know go with it whatever yeah. they got planned and kind of you know, if feige you trust <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah you know it's, it's entertainment for yeah me, you know I hear you, man. For me, I, I think the thing that would blow my mind, because they're going into space, is to see Galactus or Silver Surfer. And I, I think so many people are talking about that, that it's almost like, now nah, I know they're not going to do it, because everyone's <laughs> talking about it. But that would be my hope, would to be see, you know, to see Silver Surfer on this little surfboard flying through space, I mean, saying Galactus not, is coming. Not plausible. I mean, we, we, we already introduced the Kree, and the Silver Surfer was a Kree was before a Kree. he became yeah. a Herald of Galactus, so... Mm-hmm. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I just don't know if we're actually going to be doing Galactus yet. Because I, would, I, I wouldn't property. mind seeing. I wouldn't mind yeah. seeing Galactus. That that would be because yeah. the way they did Galactus in in the um, Fantastic, Fantastic Four movies two, previously, yeah. that was just the cloud, the angry looking cloud. Yeah, I mean, like they did the Green Lantern. Right. So yeah. Cloud no, Village really? was a rage that's, in two thousand. <laughs> that's how you. That's how you introduce Galactus. Like for because in in the first Fantastic Four um, movie. Or, or when they started alluding to Galactus, I was like, oh, man. Uh-huh. You get to see, like, you know, a, a, a version of Galactus. And not for nothing, stories stories aside, the casting on that that uh, Marvel uh, has done has been, for the most part, incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like, take Wolverine, for example. I firmly believe Wolverine, you know, and um, what's his name that plays uh, Wolverine? Why am Hugh, I Jack- Hugh Jackman. Jack- I'm like about to say I was about to say Hugh Grant. I know it's a Hugh, like, <laughs> you know, and I'm seeing the guys. That, but anyway, I Hugh Hugh Jackman made me believe in time travel because I firmly believe that someone traveled into the future, saw Hugh Jackman, and said, "I'm going to create, go back in time and create a character for Hugh Jackman to play." <laughs> and they created Wolverine. Like when Hugh Jackman came out as Wolverine, did you not say, "Like wow, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Wolverine"? That works. He was a bit tall. He's yeah, a bit yeah, tall for Wolverine, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, creative license, artistic license. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I, I think they've done an incredible job with the visual of like yeah. when you see the superhero. Like, listen, yeah, no know. one can tell me anything. Robert Downey Jr. Jr. is he's Iron, he, Iron, he's Iron, Iron, Iron Man. That guy's Iron yeah. Man. Okay, yeah, he's <laughs> Iron, no, but that's that's just like characters like that. Like they have done yeah. so. Well. I mean, yeah, they've missed on a few characters. Like you know, yeah. um, Human Torch the first time around, Cap- <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> but um, he's an amazing Cap, though. He's amazing. He is. But even even the second uh, Human Torch, you know, uh, Michael B. Jordan, yeah, killed it. Yeah, you know? he did. killed yeah. it when he came back in Black Panther. Yeah. And his movie was only what four years ago. Fantastic Four yeah. came yeah, out yeah, like yeah. four years ago. They put him as Killmonger. Um, Is this your king? That, that <laughs> scene was awesome. <laughs> oh man, I do like a ranking on the MCU, but maybe we should save a ranking for like after Endgame comes out, where we think Endgame will go. We'll rank the MCU movies then. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. You know, we're guess... soldier number one. Boom, done. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I was thinking about that. I go back and forth between the Winter Soldier and Civil War for number one for me. Mm-hmm. Maybe this will give me some time to rewatch those movies. <laughs> the other day, I, you know, it was funny. I was sleeping on Winter Soldier, and I put it on the other day, and I ended the movie. I was like. Wow, that's a good movie. I mean, can we be honest that none of us really went into Winter Soldier expecting it to be no. crazy after the first Captain America? Even and... the Nick Fury part <laughs> yeah. is insane. Oh, there's, my God. There's, there's, there's three scenes that, that make that whole movie, like, and they have nothing else like it throughout any of the other movies. 
Nick Fury, the Nick Fury scene when he fakes his death. That was that was crazy. Um, and then the scene where Bucky catches the um, the shield. The winter, well, he's the Winter Soldier yeah. at that point. When he catches the shield, you're like, oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like it's like on par with Hela catching Thor's hammer yeah. and yeah. destroying it. You're like, oh wow, <laughs> shit! <laughs> right? And then at the end. When Cap and Bucky are beating the crap out of <laughs> Iron Man, and you know, oh, that's Civil War. Civil War. Yeah, Civil War. Oh, that was Civil War. I, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. all right. That was. Civil I mean, War. to I'm be sorry. honest, in, in Winter Soldier, when they're at the end of the movie beating the crap yeah, out of each, each other, other. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. But it's crazy because, like, you know, for uh, for two people who of all superheroes don't have that much power, you know, to see like a straight up brawl fight between them you're like oh this is the end fight so then, awesome. you know what I guess my, mine would have to be Civil War then for Civil that scene uh-huh. that scene with um, Cap, Bucky and, Listen, um, and Civil uh, Iron War Man. with that <laughs> airport scene are you kidding yeah. me yeah <laughs> you kidding and me. then when, when 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 Cap's like he's my friend and how you know Iron Man's like I thought we were friends too <laughs> and then when he was walking away he's like that shield belongs to my dad <laughs> and then he just drops it. You're like, oh my oh. god, Jesus! No, wait, 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 Jesus. wait! The Yo, whole... all of the like they yeah. just catch you so many ways. The whole entire movie theater gasped when they realized it was Tony's parents in the car that yeah. went to Soldier Kill, and everybody's like, oh, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> did, you wait, did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Oh, yeah. I don't think everybody was saying, yeah. say no, say no. We're like, just say it, just say it. All right, just so, say no, so, just so it seems like us three right here are pretty much on, on Civil War, Winter Soldier. Al, what's, what's like your top one or two for, um, for uh, the well, MCU? I, was, I would think, you, for me, I would have to say the first Avengers. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, only, yeah. Only just because it was the first time you saw them coming together. Because they together. pulled it off. Yeah, yeah. they <laughs> pulled it off. Right. they show it like the way sometimes a good team comes yeah. together. It doesn't always... Oh, how how you doing? And everybody's loving each other. Sometimes you don't realize how much you respect someone until after you thought you hated them. Yeah. And then something comes along, and you're like, "All right, he wasn't as bad. I see now where he's coming from." Gotcha. You know, so you had that with Iron Man. Like you build the you build the you build the trust. You build the camaraderie. They they basically made Hulk a bad guy for a good half of the movie. You know, they they didn't want him out, and he got out. He beat the crack out of out of uh, Black Widow, and it was like Thor had to fight him. You're like, yo, like all right, Hulk is like uncontrollable. Yeah. And then at the end, he comes in. He's like, yo, I'm in. Like, let's do it. You know, ba ba ba. But then it would also have to be Civil War. Wow. Just because in Civil War they touched on so much, like, all right, we all get along, we're all a team, but we have a different view of this, mm. and they dre- they address serious questions, you know, and, and without sugarcoating it, without, yeah. all yeah. right, now I see all, all of a sudden because we had a five second conversation, I see your point now. <laughs> no, they really fought it out. Right. Stood and they to split, their... and they no, really and they and they didn't see eye to eye yeah. at the end of it. It was yeah. still like, listen, when it, when when you're ready to talk, you know where to find me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. listen, even in Infinity War, he didn't make that phone call. No, <laughs> he, did not, he did not. It was make, the Hulk. It was the Hulk. He did not make that phone call. You know, it's no, but um, yeah, civil, just the subtext of Civil War to see um, Captain America and Tony Stark switch roles. You know, yeah. Captain America's always been the one that you know. The, you know, abide by the government and, you oh, know, yeah. That's and, right. and Tony's been the rebel and whatnot. To see Tony assume that role to be like, you know, we need to do this. We need to control this. We need to do this. And Cap's like, that's not liberty. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's just, it, it for me, I'm, I've never hated on Captain America or anything like mm-hmm. that, but I've always more gravitated towards characters like Tony Stark, you know, um, because they're rebels, because they kind of go against the grain. And, and whatnot. But then to see Captain America, you know, to me, he's always been like a Boy Scout type, right? But then to see him stick to his morals like that, he's like, I don't care who I fight. You know, I don't fight for a government. I don't fight for what I fight for these ideals. Right. And this is not liberty. And this is not right. So mm-hmm. I'm willing to give it all up. That, that incorruptible, you know, uh, moral compass, you know, I... It's awesome. Took yeah. took me to another level with, Cap- with Captain America. Oh man, you know? <laughs> I think I think it's crazy because like I think I feel like Civil War, <laughs> the movie was at a perfect time because it just made sense with the time period of where we are now. 
because the Civil War comic from, you know, back in the 90s or early 2000s, whatever it was, you know, it didn't make much sense because I guess it wasn't easily to relate to. Yeah, you no, know, it, it had the same themes. Like, everything was the same. Right. It's just, it didn't, it wasn't it didn't hard to relate. Yeah. It didn't yeah. resonate with what was going on yeah. you know, at, the, at the time. I think that's what made this Civil War so much more powerful because like you can relate to it and then you can see those ideals from Cap because yeah. well, are those my ideals I'm, I'm on my siding here you know it, right. it split people too you understood where each person was coming from and you understood why they stood where they stood yeah. and at the same time you're like yeah you guys have to fight now <laughs> yeah, yeah. we'll meet up at an airport we got to we got to duke this out <laughs> i would meet up at an airport too and fight you like <laughs> that that's probably one of the best things ever honestly can somebody uh, still t- t- tell me how does Iron Man call out Spider Man? On mean? the roof. Is that what he says? On the roof. God, oh, I thought he said under ruse. Kid, that, to this day, I thought he said under ruse. I was like, what, what kind of call name is that? <laughs> He's talking about his underwear, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, listen, the one last question here, just to get this you know, all wrapped up for today. Um, you know, we've been seeing a whole bunch of comic book movies now for, again, the last. What even more than ten years? Because even before the MCU, we had the X Men, we had the Spider Man movies, and everything. Yeah. And all I keep hearing over and over is this so-called comic book fatigue or superhero fatigue. Are you guys feeling that? Are you guys anywhere near that? No, no way. Right? I think it just makes sense right now that people need someone to look up to, and these movies provide dozens of people with ideals and morals all different right. that. Anyone can just pick someone and like, oh man, that that character relates like, so much. That's to like me. saying, are you fatigued of getting laid? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, definitely. No, it's like, are, are you tired since of, the be- of like, since a the good movie? Since That's the funny. beginning of humanity, people have been getting laid, yeah. and humanity <laughs> is never tired for the most part of getting laid. It's a good movie. It's entertaining. When it's not entertaining anymore, then yeah. people will stop watching. But guess what? It's still entertaining. They're yeah, coming listen, up with ways they to, still to make, make it entertaining. They still make horror movies. They still make comedies. They still make you know less westerns now. They're a lot less westerns. <laughs> I mean, Tom Cruise is like, what now? Is like the seven? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just comic book fatigue. Ah, oh, where you? On this comic book fatigue. No, I don't. I don't think it'll end anytime soon. I think comic books themselves may end. Right. Um, there has to still be source material, though. Unfortunately, it's, it's, I mean, I in mean, the sense of being physical, of source material. Years in, in the years. sense of being physical. Yeah. It's gonna go all digital. I mean, you're gonna have the comic books are now just gonna be released on iPads and stuff yeah. like that. If, if you... But the material, because everybody, I mean, especially nowadays, there's no leader. Mm-hmm. That everybody on both sides can point to and say, even if I don't respect what he is wanting to do, I still can respect him as a leader. Mm-hmm. You didn't feel that way? Like, you didn't think people felt that way about Barack Obama? Like, on a worldwide it, scale? On a worldwide scale, those that agreed with him, those that didn't, were very disrespectful to him. But I think so he, I think he was past, even more popular we, outside of the U.S. No, no, I'm talking ah, about within. I'm places, talking about within places. the United Most States. Places, he was the first president you heard get disrespected during um, uh, State of the, State of the speech, Union. Yeah. He was outright called a liar uh-huh. during the middle of the State of the Union. You should have seen what they did to Nelson Mandela. But right. this is. But to my point, we don't have that anymore. Where even when both sides don't agree. They still show each other respect. You don't have that anymore. Right. It's different. So, time, yeah. So now the only recourse we have for, okay, where I can admire someone, unfortunately, is going to have to be in entertainment. Mm-hmm. We, don't have, we don't have a That's real, it. we don't have anybody real that we can point to that now. You know, yeah. and if you think about it, too, we're coming up on 100 years, almost 100 years since Batman and Superman. Yeah. Superman, specifically. Yeah. Right? were first conceived right mm-hmm. and how many iterations mm-hmm. of batman have we had how many iterations of superman have we had does anyone here think that we're not going to see another batman story a few no. years from now or a <laughs> right, decade right. from now oh, when no. they finally decide to ca- lightning in a bottle right yeah. we, we, my, michael keaton Pete <laughs> keaton was lightning in a bottle right and then somehow they found christian bale yeah. <laughs> right so we you know i i most people I talk to about this, this stuff, the, the, the debate for the best Batman is between Christian Bale and, and Oh, you don't Michael like Val Kilmer? Yeah. <laughs> Kissy lips Val Kilmer. I'm just, I'm just saying. But 
<laughs> you know, you get yeah. that. But to that point, right? The stories keep coming back because the stories are 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 relevant, mm-hmm. and they're always going to be relevant because no matter what, you're always going to have this strife until. I guess until, you know, we achieve world peace or we achieve mm-hmm. enlightenment, right? Is that happening anytime soon? No, that's mm-hmm. not happening anytime soon, right? I'd love it to happen. I'd love to be able to get that infinity gauntlet. That's what I would do. <laughs> right? infinity gauntlet. Snap my fingers like, can everybody just understand? Like, just be nice to one another. You that's know what I'm saying? Like, and we everything would be all right. But until I get the infinity gauntlet, I got to go fight Thanos or something. Like but again, I don't think there's going to be that fatigue. It might go away for a few years, yeah. Yeah, okay. you know. And then it's not like they're coming out with, a movie of the magnitude of Infinity War mm-hmm. every few months, right? Yeah. You get these, you get the movies that give you story, right? Backstory, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and therefore, and it's a night out, right? Yeah. And people are people want a night out, right? Yeah. Like you know, not not you, B Dog, but you know the rest of us. <laughs> we, got, we got kids and stuff like that. Yeah. And like the movies, are, we still look forward to that night out. That's yeah. our that's our night out. So it, I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. If Optimus Prime can come back after twenty years, twenty years from now we'll still be seeing another iteration of Optimus yeah. Prime, and we'll be we'll see. Be... That's my that's my only fear. Is just the the uh, even with the comic books, you find that a lot of stories are being retold. Mm-hmm. Same MacGuffins, same Civil War Two just happened. Yeah, two years you know ago. you see them recycling old stories just with a different twist or a new take. Maybe that's my only America fear. Hydra agent for <laughs> yeah, you know, that's my only fear is that they're gonna run out of stories to tell. But you know, hopefully, that's why they got these you know great minds that think of these scripts. And I will say that yeah. I don't like the storyline where Captain America is an agent of Hydra. Yeah, I no. don't like that storyline at all. Yeah. Like I mean, all this way, whole time, he was a Hydra. Guy? No, come on. I mean, the way they resolved it was like it was interesting because yeah. it had to do with the Tesseract and this and that. But I, I feel like here comes the story... Tesseract again. Yeah. See, like... <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be our image for our, our podcast as a Tesseract. Yeah. Tesseract. Side bitch. Side. <laughs> I feel like you know these stories are always going to keep getting recycled, just being told and reimagined in new ways. But the same story, you know, yeah. and it's going to keep happening until people decide they don't. Because look, even anymore. with Captain Marvel, they had to change the way they do an origin story because yeah. you can't just keep doing this. Person gets down on their luck, and then they. Fight the, the big comics, bad guy at the end to become who they are. So. Yeah, no, it was a good, so, it was but it was good. good. It was story. different. Yeah. yeah, you know, not the greatest of Marvel movies, but it was good. It was definitely good. I, I, I saw it twice, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's good enough to see it more than once. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Does anybody know how Samuel uh, Samuel Jackson how Fury really loses his eye, like in the comics? Because I thought that was kind of like I didn't. Like care too much for I think I, I, that was versus the Taskmaster or his brother because his brother is like a villain in the in the comic or yeah. some kind of family member. I don't know if it's a hundred percent his brother, but like it was like during like a, a war type situation when he was younger. Mm. He had, I think he had first the Taskmaster or some, yeah. Master sorry or somebody, and then he had lost it then uh, versing like Hydra. Oh, wow. That was definitely one of the parts of the movie I didn't like, but uh, yeah. we'll definitely bring up Captain Marvel on a future podcast and we'll go over what we thought of it and everything. Uh, but this is going to wrap up podcast uh, number one, episode one for the Real Fan Review. And again, that's a play on words with the Real. That's R-E-E-L. If you guys have any suggestions of what you want us to talk about, it's uh, the Real Fan Review at gmail.com. We're working on doing a Facebook page, a YouTube website where we'll put these podcasts on there live. And, um, you know, we just appreciate any uh, likes, subscribes, everything. Thank you guys for listening to us. We'll be back with more. And this is the Real Fan Review with Hav, B, Al, and Sanj.